Greetings. Here we have a Telegames pinball breakaway video game from 1977. Telegames was uh, the name used by the Sears department store uh, for video games specifically. I think they only used it for Atari games. This was obviously made by Atari. Atari makes their own, or made their own version of this, but it looked different, completely different than this. But it's an early, a very early example of a home video game. It has pinball games, pinball 1, pin paddle 1, pinball 2, and pin paddle 2. <clears throat> I think the only difference is that in pinball you have actual flippers. And in pin paddle, you have a breakout style paddle. <clears throat> then there's basketball and breakaway and breakout. It has, a, it's kind of cool because it doubles as a controller, has buttons for the uh, flippers on each side, a paddle. This controls the paddle for the breakout. For the paddle, the games that use paddles, and then of course various uh, buttons, and the ball serve, which serves the ball in all games, except in basketball it doubles as a shot button. And this kind of sticks. But aside from that, uh, let's have a quick look at it, because I haven't even turned it on yet. This, uh, this needs to be fed. It doesn't have a uh, composite output. It actually has a, uh, an RF output. And for that, we're going to go into the Sony directly into the antenna input. One other thing I wanted to point out is it's generally in pretty good shape, but if you look closely here, the uh, I guess the uh, wood imitation was painted on here, and in this area it's gone. This got some very heavy play for this to be worn out like that. So it must be real good. Okay, let's see if it even works. Where? Oh, here. Well, it comes on. This is one of the video pinballs. Kind of noisy, but uh, let's see how does this work. Reset, and then you hit ball serve. That's the poorest flippers I've ever seen on a video game, but remember 1977. And this is probably an Atari 2600 in disguise running all of this. But it works. One thing I notice is that the buttons are a little lazy depending on where you press them. So we'll probably have to clean the, uh, the button contacts. What is this? This is, I think this is pin paddle. Yeah. Yeah, and as I suspect that, that you can see this thing, the pot, the pot that this drives is dirty. There's a lot of jitter here. And when you play some games, after a while, this gets cut down a half size. And with the jitter, it makes it really hard to play. So we're going to have to clean the pot, hopefully it's just dirty and not worn, even though the wear here 
uh, seems to tell us that it might be worn. And uh, as we said before, or saw before, the ball serve button, it just got stuck. And it's very important in this. This is basketball, actually. Good one. You have to hit the button to make the shot. Yeah, that's... Anyway, you can see that, that so far it only needs cleaning. It actually, let me turn this light off, it actually has a really good picture for, for an RF connection. But this is breakaway. And this is breakout, so we have to hit reset, ball serve, and you can see the pot's jittering. So uh, let's open her up and see if we can quickly clean out the controls on the pot. Took out the six screws from underneath, removed the, the uh, paddle wheel, and this should and does open up now. The speaker, oh no, that's the, uh, that's the paddle right here, comes out, and again we look at it, it's not a sealed pot. It has plenty of room here for us to squirt stuff into it. I guess this was checked out by Anna, or belonged to Anna, I don't know. And uh, yeah, so to get to these buttons, There's a spring and a flipper button. And the same thing on this side. And that spring is jammed in over here. Oh, there's also a washer. Same on this side, but it won't come out. Let's see, does this whole thing... <laughs> that comes out. And the board, oh, the board also comes out, so very service friendly. Uh, something else is holding it in place. Oh, the battery. Or the power connector. So, uh, in this case, uh, we're going to have to label this. That's kind of simple. Put a piece of tape on here. And uh, speaker, we got the right button, we got the, the battery, and we have the paddle. So now we know clearly where things go back to. Let's see, same setup on these buttons. Well, that's interesting, I think the spring is broken. Part of it lies below this washer. That could be causing this thing to get stuck. 
let's see what the others look like oh the spring is supposed to be below the washer yep it's below on all of these and it's still kind of below here but part of it oh, wait a minute maybe this this spring is supposed to sit on top because there is still a spring here that is identical to these so so they probably uh, <clears throat> gave the uh, serve button an extra spring there you go okay I'll use this contact cleaner to pretty much spray everything the pots easy cuz uh, get some light it's got a big gap here we can get in there very easily and then work it the switches well they're not tightly sealed for instance on the button we gotta take it off and then kind of spray between the shaft and the body and all the other buttons are the same and that's what we'll do and then we should be fixed okay now all we gotta do is plug in the paddle connector and see if we fixed it All the buttons are working well mechanically they are so let's see okay noisy TV is on I mean the pictures good well the pictures good but the sound when you're going through RF is always a little iffy so my first interest is the paddle so let's go to breakaway reset there's a paddle and it's pretty steady I think when you hit the red the paddle gets small and if it's jittery, makes it near impossible to catch the ball. But we'll find that out in a minute. Whoa! Okay. Didn't get smaller. I think it's got to get into the score area to get smaller. No applause. Oh, we broke through. <clears throat> Look at the size of that paddle. Anyway, the paddle works. So let's go back and uh, play one of these fantastic pinball games.
This is really challenging. I guess I'm not going to be giving away my pinball machines yet. But the buttons are responsive. And the last one we want to look at is the basketball. This one, where you have to use the ball serve button to launch the ball. So, reset. Ball serve. sure I'm doing this right because I'm having a hard time launch. Oh, there you go. No, the button's good. I can't blame the button. I have to take full responsibility for Wait a minute. Did it, it bounced off the bottom of the hoop, didn't it? I got one. It was only a two-pointer because I only hit the center break, but I think that's the way it works. That was another two-pointer. Well, I had to admit it, but this is probably the better of the uh, of all of the games because you actually got to do something. Well, something a little bit more sophisticated than the pinball games, that's for sure. But anyway, it works. Uh, all that was wrong, obviously, was dirty controls. Hours of fun to be had. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, Please like and subscribe. I, just, I forgot to put a, I forgot to put a spring in. I just found this on the desk. Ah, I won't bother you with it. That's part of the ball serve button that goes under this guy. I'll just do that off camera. I promise. But again, thanks. And if you subscribe, make sure to click the uh, uh, notification button. And we'll see you next time.